swing traders, I just want to take a moment to introduce you to a technical indicator on charts that's only discussed here in Schwab Education. It's known as the, Sto the Stochastic Distance Oscillator. And I also want to show how a scan might be performed to identify potential emerging signals from that indicator. So let's go right to the Thinkorswim desktop. And as of course, as we do, we need to first of all consider the uh, risks associated with trading. So bear these important disclosures in mind. The information here is for general informational purposes only and should not be considered an individualized recommendation or endorsement of any particular security, chart pattern, or investment strategy. Options carry a high level of risk and are not suitable for all investors. Schwab does not recommend the use of technical analysis as a sole means of investment research. And investing involves risks, including the loss of principal. All right, so here we find ourselves on the Thinkorswim desktop trading software platform. And I wanted to introduce this oscillator that's not as commonly known as many other oscillators that may be a little bit similar in generating short-term entry and exit signals. So we're going to go up to our edit studies icon. We're going to type in distance. It's known as the stochastic distance oscillator. Let's select that from our list of, uh, of indicators, apply that to our chart and click OK. And if this is your first time ever uh, seeing this indicator, I'll give you a brief introduction. I'm going to also include a resource that you might use to learn more about the construction and the application of this indicator. But in any case, here is our stochastic distance oscillator, typically used to identify potential short-term entry or exit signals on a stock chart. And using Procter & Gamble as our example stock, you can see that a typical indication of an entry signal for a bullish trader is when our oscillator reaches down into an oversold condition down below minus 40 and then starts to rise. So we'll see a horizontal hip line here representing the oversold position. And when we see our stochastic distance oscillator fall below minus 40 and start to turn back up, that's commonly interpreted as a, as a potential bullish entry signal. And you can see that uh, aligns uh, with the price here. So a second signal here. This one was sort of a shorter term, not a very productive signal. Another signal here, 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 here. And interestingly, as of the recording of this video, we can see a, a potentially freshly emerging signal from our oscillator here as price appears to be bouncing off recent lows for Procter & Gamble. So that's the indicator and the potential for a bullish entry signal but how might we find these sorts of signals? That's a big question. And uh, that can actually be um, largely accomplished using the scan tool right here on Thinkorswim. So I'm gonna go to our, our scan tool. I'm starting just from a clean scan uh, reset. Now we're not gonna actually be using our, st our stock default scan um, criteria here. So I'm just gonna remove those and then I'm gonna add a couple of technical studies. But first of all, let's, let's just filter this scan to look at stocks in the S&P 500. So I'm gonna scan in just the S&P 500, and then we're gonna add two filters. Both of these are gonna be what are known as study or chart filters. So I'm gonna click study once. Let's click, click study twice. So there's two potential filters here. This first one, let's select a price performance study because as you noted, uh, when we're looking at PG, very commonly the entry signals come when price has fallen to some extent. And so quite common to get these signals on stocks that have actually just been going down and down and down. So let's first require for this search that our stocks are trading not too terribly far from their 52-week highs. Let's go to price performance near high lows. And we're going to look for a current price that's within, let's say, 20% of 252 period, or in other words, day highs. 252 days is typical of a one year uh, trading cycle. So that's gonna be our first technical filter. Our second filter is going to be looking specifically at the, the stochastic distance oscillator position. So here we're going to switch this. Let's edit this from the ADX crossover default. We'll delete that and add a study condition. And specifically, we're looking for that distance oscillator. So let's type in DIST for distance. 
We'll find our stochastic distance oscillator in the menu. And we're going to look for a, uh, the oscillator to be less than a value of minus 40 as of today. That would be within the last one bar, or in other words, within the last one daily candle. So let's save that as our condition. Click OK. So here's this, the scan that we're about to conduct. We're looking for S&P companies trading within 20% of their 52-week highs or 252-day highs that are below minus 40 on the stochastic distance oscillator. As I click scan, you should see a familiar um, symbol. Well, actually, a number of symbols here. Meta, Home Depot, AT&T, each of these um, are S&P 500 component companies. And I was actually anticipating seeing PG on here, but what's actually happened with our PG, if we go back and look at that chart, it's no longer below minus 40. It's actually just crept back up above minus 40, which is not a negative thing. It just means that it might be rallying in the near term. In any case, we've accomplished what I set out to do today. I wanted to provide an introduction to this not terribly commonly discussed oscillator. As a matter of fact, I've taken a look at um, at the videos available on YouTube, and they extend to a, a couple of videos that I have made on the indicator, as well as Mike Fairborn has made a video on stochastic distance oscillator. So not one of those oscillators that everyone is talking about. So if we're looking for something that's maybe a little less common, this may be right along those lines. But in any case, um, I'm going to let you go. But just remember, if you if you uh, or want to take full advantage of the educational offerings from Schwab, first of all, make sure that you are subscribed to our Trader Talks channel on YouTube. You would just um, find Trader Talks Schwab Coaching Webcasts on YouTube. Click the, sub the subscribe button, and that's where you can find the playlist for videos like this. You can also find, um, for example, if we want to learn about the stochastic distance oscillator, let's just type in distance here as a keyword search. And there's my introduction to Thinkorswim's new stochastic distance oscillator. This, was, this indicator was just added about a year ago, and I made a video about this indicator. If you'd like to see that in greater detail, that's where you'd go to find that. Also, make sure that you're following me on X. Best place to connect with me when the camera's not on is to find me here on X. Um, this is uh, where I, I can post about emerging things in the markets. I can talk with you about what's going on with my weekend. If you reply to one of my posts on X, I'd try to reply right back to you. In any case, thanks for giving me your time today. I'll look for yet another uh, indicator to introduce you to. Um, but whenever I see you again, until that moment arrives, I want to wish you the very best of luck. Happy trading. Bye-bye.